While I was recording my intro, um, my phone lovingly decided to stop recording because apparently I ran out of storage space. So my iCloud storage is now upgraded and I'm going to keep an eye on my phone this time to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Yay, I love that. But oh, now roommates are thumping upstairs. They're thumping bumping. We love that. <laughs> God. Okay. Anyways, hi. Um, I, at 11 p.m. on the dot last night, I thought it'd be a brilliant idea to <laughs> um, clean my drafting table. As you can see, it looks like I did literally nothing because my idea of cleaning is Henry. Oh my God. I'm, this is a mess already. Hold on one second. You want a toy? You got toys right there. You don't have to play with your own feces. Like, I know this is a revolutionary concept, but <sighs> okay. Anyways, um, so what that means of me cleaning my drafting table is taking things, um, putting it on the floor, and then leaving them on the floor because I get distracted with something else. So yay, I love that. <laughs> um, but hello there. <laughs> Welcome back to this mess of a channel. Hope you guys like it. My hair doesn't look too terrible today. I'm also lying to myself, but you know, that's fine. But I am very excited because today we are doing something new, which is always exciting. New to my channel, at least. Um, I'm gonna be doing a paint by numbers kit for you guys. And not only am I doing a paint by numbers kit for you guys, but I'm doing a Die Moon Shop one. Um, Die Moon Shop, you know, are they're very well known for their diamond paintings, um, but fairly recently, like in the last maybe six months or so, I think, um, they've started doing paint by number kits. God, they start, they've started to offer paint by number kits. Um, and paint by number, paint by number kits are definitely um, a lot more reasonably priced in my opinion in comparison to their um, diamond paintings. So I'm really excited to try it out. Um, I have done diamond, not diamond paintings. I have done paint by number kits before in the past, just not on my channel. So um, I'm very excited to have this new type of video for you guys. And yeah, so in my diamond shop order, I ordered three diamond paint, not diamond paintings. <laughs> I ordered three paint by number kits. Um, so I will be showing all of them for you guys, but I'm, on, I'm only going to be doing the one in this video. But if you guys like the other paintings that I purchased, let me know if you want to see me do those in future videos. I'd be happy to do that. So anyways, the painting that I will be doing for you guys today is called Space Cat Poison by, I think this is how you pronounce it. I'll have it up on the screen. It's called, I think the artist's name is Mint Katie. Really hope I'm saying that correctly, but... This artwork is adorable and like 100, 1,000, 1 million percent um, me. <laughs> so here is the canvas. It's um, definitely like, it's smaller than a diamond painting that I would normally do because with paint by numbers, you can definitely go a lot smaller than in diamond paintings just because of all the intricate details that you can get in there with a paintbrush. It's adorable. Very looking for, very much looking forward to working on it for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna show you just what come, what came with this kit. But I'm also gonna be showing you what Die Moon Shop gives to people who are first time paint by number kit buyers for their shop. They got little extra goodies for us. So, anyways, so we get the canvas. Um, I got a little schematic right here of the artwork, as well as a little, I guess, legend of the different paint colors. But this is also a paper, I guess, reference guide for paint by number kits. And the purpose of this is whenever you're painting, if you paint over a number in a specific section, you come back later and you can't remember, oh shoot, what was that number? Take a look at this bad boy. You find the number and then it'll lovingly, <laughs> lovingly, but you know, it'll tell you what number it is that you need to put in that area. We also, of course, have our paints. And they're so, just this color scheme is just so beautiful. I love it. How many paints are there in total? 24 paints in this kit. They also give you um, the typical like default paint brushes that come in most paint by number kits. And that is essentially all you need to um, work with a paint by numbers kit. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab the other ones and show you those as well. Okay, so the other paintings that I got 
um, are this one. And this one is called Rain Queen by Yukochi. Adorable. And this is the Big Kahuna one that I got. But this one is called Dark Lilith by Margaret Morales. I'll also have a photo, you know, pop up as well showing this. And oh my gosh, I am very looking forward to doing those other two as well. Um, and let me also show you what comes with um, the extra goodies that come with a Diamond Shop Paint by Number kit. Right here is a little brochure showing you um, some paint by art paint art by chart instructions. Now, I would highly recommend reading this before opening a couple of things in this in the package that comes with all of this. So it shows you everything that you need to know to do one of these. They also give you this wonderful Dye Moon Shop pouch, and it's a zippered pouch that I got some foil leaf on. I'll explain why. <laughs> But you can put your paints and the paintbrushes in here so you can take your kit on the go. Very, very lovely. They also give you some washi tape. Um, I assume to tape off the borders if you're trying to do a straight edge when painting, especially on the borders, like I already said. They also give you some lovely, um, dear God, my fingers. They also give you some lovely cover minders that have the artist name on it. You can't really see that because it's not focusing. It wants to focus on my face. <laughs> But I had, I got three different cover minders because I purchased di um, paint by number kits from three different artists. And they also give you this really cool thing, which I didn't know what it was at first, but this cute little um, bust, you'd call it, is something that you can use to rest your paintbrush on when it's drying after cleaning it. It's It's very nice. They also, of course, gave me some stickers as per usual. That's a very common thing that Dye Moon Shop does. Now, this last thing is the main reason why I'd recommend reading your little pamphlet before opening anything, because I have three of these envelopes. I opened up one and completely destroyed it. I'm not gonna open it for you guys, but what's in here is a foil leaf. And these things are so delicate. Um, you touch it, it gets destroyed. And basically, I think you can use it to decorate your um, painting. I don't know exactly how I could use this. Maybe if I read the instructions, I would know. But um, if I figure out how you can use this, I'll let you guys know. Now we come into the little boo-boo <laughs> that I encountered with this, um, with purchasing these paint by number kits. Not the boo-boo wasn't purchasing the kits. It was a manufacturing error. So after I opened these up in my own free time, I was looking at, I was looking at Rain Queen in particular, and I decided to pull out the paints to take a look at them and just see all the di different exciting bright colors. I'll put up the artwork right now to show you guys, but as you can see in the artwork, the background is this very nice cool gray um, color. And that is called, that is number 18 in their charted, um, <laughs> in their paint chart for this kit. Um, this is number 18 in the paints that were sent to me. It's not focusing, but it's bright yellow. And I panicked. I was like, um, <laughs> so I then, then took the paint chart that they um, gave to me and tried to match up all of the colors. And this is number, this is number one through six. And I don't know if you can tell, but that doesn't match. You can see one doesn't match, two doesn't match, three, four, four kind of matches. But um, yeah, this is no, this, is, this was no bueno. And there's two bright yellows. Like these just, there's something, something obviously was wrong. <laughs> so I then took a look at dark, not dark, yeah, I took a look at dark Lilith image. I got the paints for that. I pulled that out. And once again, taking a look at number, taking a look at number one through six and the chart right next to it. As you can see, number one does not match. And that's a problem. Um, not good. And as you can see, Number 24, can you find that color? Me neither, because that doesn't belong. 
<laughs> so this was obviously a manufacturing error. So I immediately took photos and contacted Dai Moon Shop and they got back to me in 18 minutes after me sending my initial email. And they were like, can you send us more photos? Um, so we were able to confirm that the kitty cat one was okay. That one was fine, but it was my other two that I just showed you that had the issues of the paints just not matching and not being correct, really. They immediately like jumped on it, asked for photos. I sent those over. Um, I didn't hear back after 24 hours, so I reached out and asked, so what's going on? So they said that they're gonna be sending me new paints, which I have now, so let me go get those. So I have the fully <laughs> um, vacuum sealed paints for Dark Lilith right here. And I, I took a careful look and these match perfectly. And here are the paints for Rain Queen. And I also took a careful look and these match very well. <laughs> so there was a problem, a manufacturing problem. I let Diamond Shop know. They instantly got back to me and fixed it with no questions asked. So thank you so much, Diamond Shop. I think I talked to Reggie and he was very, you know, professional and like, uh, I think he apologized and we got it fixed. No harm, no foul. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys making it very easy to fix. Um, I don't think they know who I am. I didn't like, t I mean, I did use my YouTube email address, but I didn't, I wasn't saying like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm gonna make a video. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I just, reached out to them. So yes, yay. I'm very happy with how they handled that. Very looking forward to working on these, um, especially, you know, the Space Kitty one that I'm going to be working on for you guys in this video. But yeah, please let me know if you like the other two images and you want to see me um, complete those in future videos, because I would love to do that. So without further ado, I'm going to get started on this painting for you guys. Goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiot. 
thoughts Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know And it feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh I love it when the love comes around and then all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa But I'm not gonna wake up I'm not, I'm not gonna wait
who's ready for an update because I've got thoughts. <laughs> but um, let me show you. I've finished the background. It's literally day two of me starting this. And I finished the background already. Um, I'm going to flip the camera in a second to show you guys something that I've noticed, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, what are my thoughts? Okay, well, first thing, um, this is um, number 13, which is the dark purple color, which is up on the upper half of the background, because there's number 13 and then number 12, number 13 on top, number 12 below that. Um, I've got pretty ding dang darn dingling I, I got close to running out that's not gonna focus is it honey we need you to focus there we go let's just hide my face no one look at me it's not 100 percent focused but ooh, baby we got close to running out and i still have to put number 12 on the partial inside of the jar, the space jar that the kitty cat is in. Um, it's slightly unfocused, but yeah, wow, wow, whoopsie, I <laughs> am scared. So I am 95% sure I'm not gonna have enough paint or if I am, it, this thing is gonna be like empty. So I'm going to basically do the rest of the painting just in case I've run out of any other colors and I'll let Dye Moon Shop know. Now let me flip the camera and show you guys the other thing that I've noticed. <laughs> I flipped the canvas over so that we have kind of a blank slate to take a look at these colors. Um, fun fact, if you're looking at colors, whenever you're doing any print production stuff, having um, a white background helps um, avoid any colors from bouncing off and help, it basically helps you have better color vision. <laughs> Anywho, so these are, this is the color legend for this um, painting right here, and I'm going to show you how some of the paint colors um, do match what's printed here, and some really don't. And I would really like to start off with number one, number two, number three, and number four. And one... That basically looks like a slightly off-white, and that's like a slight dark pink. Two, uh, it's, it's supposed to be dark purple. We got a light purple, but three and four, dear God, those two are not the same colors. I don't know. I don't know what what's going on with that. And then let's move on to five, six, seven, and eight for you guys. Five is a little closer. Six is kind of better. Seven and eight, uh, no. <laughs> Not so much. Then we've got nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'll scoot this up for you guys. Oh, there we go. This is a lavender, not a lavender, but this is a, maybe a fuchsia color. I don't know how to describe colors. This is a lighter um, purpley magenta color. That is a dark purple. That doesn't match. 10 is better. 11, okay. 12, okay. Um, and then I'll pull out 13. You know, 12 and 13 are the darkest colors besides 24, which is black. So, oh my God, can, are my hands functioning? So this is a little better. But then, as you can see here, 14, that's supposed to be white. Look what they gave me for 14. That's pink. <laughs> that is pink. What? Okay, so I got 14, 15, 16, and 17, which 15 through, six, 15 through 17 is a little better, but 14, that is not the same color. So, real quick, my plan is... Um, oh, actually, well, first, the 14 is any white area in this. So if, so if they're telling me that I got to put this color on the kitty cat's white face. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what I am going to do is basically anywhere where I see number 14, I'm going to swap it with one and basically, you know, vice versa. Because if you look here too, 14 matches, a l not really, but it's the best that I can work with to kind of get number one going. Maybe I'll 
use, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but I know for sure that this is not going to be used for the actual labeled purpose. Number one is going to have to do. So then we got the last ones, which surprisingly actually do work better. And push this up for you guys. We got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and since we're already on the last one, 24. <laughs> this is the only color that's like, yes, good job, you did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, 23, I mean, 23 kind of matches better to 22. Um, but, sorry, 19 got shoved up there, but 19, yes. 20, okay, 21, fine. 22, yes, 23, uh, and 24, you did it. You, we passed um, the basic. Color theory course, congrats. <laughs> I'm being mean, but um, I bought this with my own money, so it's fine. But yeah, so uh, the color choices they can definitely improve on, and I can give you a closer look now at the paints. Don't mind my nasty fingers, but like, um, I would not say this is acceptable with like, they <laughs> did not give me enough paints. I will reach out to their customer service once um, I'm fully done with the rest of the painting and I have to only use these colors. I think it's 12 that I still have to work with. 13 I think I'm fully done with. So if I run out of 12 and any other colors, I'll let you guys know and I'll reach it out to them. But um, yeah, that's my update on that. So I'm gonna keep working on it.
before you say anything, yes, I am fully aware that I currently look like Jamie Lee Curtis from Freaky Friday. I, there's nothing I can do with my hair at this point. I slept on it when it was wet, and this is the result. I am now Jamie Lee Curtis. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, I finished um, the Paint by Number kit. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It looks really good! Um, yeah, I thoroughly love it very, very much. I love it so much. Um, so couple of things. Um, I did not end up running out of paint for number 12, which was the um, bottom half of the background color. But the only reason I did not run out of that color was because I had to put a lot of water in that um, paint pot, mix it up in the goopy paint, and then do like a lot of layers of paint to make it work. So I would still count that as basically running out of paint because for most of the other paint pots, well, almost all of the other paint pots except for those two background colors, there's plenty of paint left, which is fantastic. It's those two background colors that I think they definitely, well, not I think, I, well, it's for those two background colors that I definitely think they should have given me um, two paint pots because it's just like with um, diamond painting, it's always better to have um, a lot of extras rather than be nervous while working on the painting that you're gonna run out. But I made it work, so I'm very happy about that. God, I can't get over my hair. It's, it looks really dumb right now, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, second thing, um, I'm gonna put up a photo here, but originally the, um, template called for me to use this um, pink color for the line art of the kitty cat. But when I finished it, I took a look at the um, actual artwork of, you know, the original artwork and I felt like using the number seven darker purple color would kind of make the final piece look like the actual original artwork. Um, I really like my final choice in what I did because it pops. Like the kitty cat looks great. Um, there are some areas that I want to go back and touch up on to make sure that the symbols are fully covered. And uh, I'm not, I'm like a semi-perfectionist if that's really a thing, but um, there's a few areas where I'm like, oh yeah, I want to go back in there and I definitely will. So, and I'm thinking I'm gonna um, stretch it on a one of those stretcher bar things to have a stretched framed look <laughs> for the painting and I'll hang it up somewhere. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed working on this. Um, I will definitely reach out to um, Dime Moon Shop and just let them know my thoughts. But luckily, I don't have to reach out asking for more paints. I'll just give them my um, constructive feedback. Um, I'm not gonna liking. I'm not gonna reach out before I post this video, just because I'm not. I don't need a response to put in my video. Um, I had a great time working on this and I really, really hope you guys like this too because I would love to um, work on the other ones as well. I probably will work on them regardless if you guys like this or not. <laughs> That's the fun thing of having your own YouTube channel. You can do what you want. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I'm going to have this kit as well as the other ones linked down below. Um, I overall would highly recommend... Um, getting a paint by number kit if their diamond paintings are out of your budget because it i've taken a quick glance at their website of all of the other paintings that, or paint by number kits that they have to offer it definitely seems like it's a reasonable price range they typically go between um don't quote me on this but between like 25 to 40 dollars so it's a lot better than <laughs> their um, three-digit priced <laughs> diamond paintings, but you know to each their own. So if you cannot if you really love um, a specific artwork, but you can't just really afford the diamond painting version I feel like the paint by number version is Definitely um, a good way to go about getting that artwork <laughs> Especially in a legally licensed, you know moral good fuzzy warm feeling way <laughs> Um, so sorry, went on a tangent there, but all of those will be linked down below. My um, Instagram's down there as well. If you liked this, please give it a like um, and leave a comment saying, I don't know, what do you guys think of the artwork? Would you guys try a paint by number kit? 
Have you ever, have you even tried one before in general? Cause these are very fun and therapeutic and you don't have to be good at art to do one of these, just like with diamond painting. So maybe it's something new for you guys to try. Um, my cats are going bananas, crackers, whatever in the background. Fantastic. We love that. Um, oh yeah. And subscribe, please. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be going live tonight, um, usual time, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But then also tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going live again with Jade, um, Jade from Jade Gem Shop. So I'm really excited to talk to her about um, her um, updates on her shop because she's had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'll also have her link down below for you guys to check out. Um, but get ready for this live stream if you guys are going to be there on Saturday because you guys are about to get edumacated on Gen Z humor. <laughs> it's going to be so weird. Oh my god. Okay, I'll let you guys go. But have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>